Welcome to our night to engage in worship and in prayer together. We are pressing through the challenges that are before us right now with not being able to meet in the same room, but we can meet on the same Zoom call. In the same time frame, we are gonna meet to worship the same Lord, Jesus Christ. We're gonna worship the same God, our Father of heaven and earth. And we will declare that he is God tonight, amen? We are gonna have times tonight to sing. We've got a worship team here and they're gonna be leading us in songs to worship God. And we're gonna invite you right in your home to join in. Um, you can join as loud or as quiet as you want to, as your family will allow you. But do sing out, let it, let it be a song from your heart. Uh, if you're comfortable, let it be a song from your voice as well. And as you do participate tonight, there will be times that we as leaders will lead out in prayer. Uh, join us with affirmations, with amens. You can join in the chat and just uh, de declare your faith and your belief as well. And just encouraging what we are praying out and agreeing with us as one voice together. And as, as worship unfolds and as we sing, there will be times when there aren't song, uh, lyrics sung out. It'll just be instrumental. And you'll, you'll have a moment to just um, pray out a prayer in your heart during that time. Let the Holy Spirit lead you tonight, all right? And we are going to join together in prayer and in worship. Let me pray. Father, lead us by your Spirit tonight. We come in the matchless, powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. And we come to meet with you. We are here for you. We come to worship you. And we open our hearts and our spiritual eyes and ears to hear you and see you speak tonight. Lead us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let our praise be your welcome. Let our songs be a sign. We are here for you.
every one of you in your home.
dry. There is healing and breakthrough when we behold you, Jesus, our endless supply. And oh, you're all we're after. Oh, you're all that matters now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just going to invite you to keep your eyes closed where you are now. And I want you to just picture... Jesus, looking into your eyes and saying these exact words that we have been singing. Because in John chapter 4, he spoke these words about being the well spring of life. Listen to him as he says this to you. Everyone who drinks this water, you will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give will never be thirsty again. And so today, Jesus, tonight, we bow before you and thank you that you are the wellspring of life that starts in our spirit and just explodes out because of what you've done for us. And Jesus, that is what we're here for tonight, to love on you and to receive from you the wellspring of water to quench our thirst in your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, welcome, Koinonia community. Welcome together to pray in the name of Jesus, to worship in his name, to declare him as Lord. And I'm calling you into worship, and I'm calling you into prayer today and tonight as we continue to worship and pray. And you're going to have opportunity to listen in. You're going to have opportunity to participate. So we invite you to, to sing out, to pray along with us. We'll be praying over our world, over our nation, over our communities. And I invite you just to join in with the partners as they pray out too. And we're going to invite you just to go before God now together with us, that we would invite his spirit. And don't forget, church, you can be praying along where you are. I know it feels a bit different on your Zoom call or in your living room, but we're praying together. We're praying in English. We're praying in our prayer language. Let's just relax into his presence together tonight. So Heavenly Father, yeah. Almighty Jesus, yes. Holy Spirit, we invite your presence to meet with us, your church, tonight. We love you, Lord. Yeah, we worship you, God.
you see my victory There's nothing impossible for you. this region, 
wherever we are in our homes right now. We thank you that you are with us and that any battle that we face, you are fighting that battle. Lord, we thank you that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood or the battles that are going on in this world. And maybe even in our lives, Lord, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. But Lord, we have your armor and you fight the battle with us. And Lord, we put our trust in you. Lord, we, we stand against the, the fear that's all around us. We stand against the anxiety that the enemy would try and bring upon us. And Lord, we declare that our hope is in you. Lord, we declare that you are our God, that you are sovereign. Lord, we confess you as Lord of all the earth. Lord, we thank you that this world belongs to you. Lord, you said in, in your word, remember this, keep it in mind, take it to heart. Remember the former things, those of long ago. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. Lord, we confess that over our lives. We confess it over this world that is in turmoil right now. We confess that you are the God who declares the end from the beginning, that your purpose will stand. You will do what you please. And Lord, while people around us in this world may be making decisions that we may not agree with or that are not good decisions, Lord, we declare that that does not stop your purpose, that you're more powerful, that you are greater, that your name is greater than any other name that your purpose will not be withheld from you. And Lord, we thank you that your kingdom will come, that your will shall be done in this world in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for those in this world that don't know you yet. Lord, those around the world that are, uh, are full of fear and anxiety and they're wondering what's going on. Lord, we pray that in the midst of all of this, that you would draw their hearts to you. Lord, that you would draw their hearts to you, that their eyes would turn to you. What the enemy means for evil, what the enemy means for destruction, Lord, you would use it as an entrance into people's hearts. Lord, we pray that many hearts all over this world would turn to you. They would look to you, that they would set their eyes and hope upon you that they would be, become hungry to know the God who created all things, the God who is unchanging, the God who is faithful and dependable. Lord, we thank you that when everything else in our world is moving, when everything else is uncertain, that, that, that you are unchanging, that you are our rock, that you are our fortress, that you are our anchor, and that you are faithful to us. Lord, we set our eyes, we set our hope on you today, and we declare that you are the sovereign God of this universe and of this world, and we place our confidence and our hope in you, in Jesus' name. Amen. And Lord, we bring our nation to you, our nation of Canada. We thank you that you promised us in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, that if we, your people who are called by your name, shall humble ourselves, pray, seek your face, and turn from our wicked ways, then you will hear from heaven, forgive our sin, and heal our land. So we come tonight in humility, Lord, before you in prayer. We speak and we crave your presence. We are your people called by your name. We turn from our wicked ways. We thank you for hearing our prayers and moving by your spirit in our land. Father, we pray that a spirit of humility and passion to pray will rise up in fellow believers across our land. We 
Proverbs 11, 11 says, the blessing of the upright a city is exalted, but by the mouth of the wicked it is destroyed. So as the body of Christ, we understand our position and we bless our cities and our nation under you. Thank you, Lord, for healing our land and causing our nation to flourish. You've urged us to pray and intercede for all our leaders that we may live a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Forgive us for our neglect to pray and for when we judged inappropriately, complained about, or criticized our leaders unfairly. We hold up in prayer before you our government and the men and women who are in positions of authority. We pray and intercede for our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, for our Premier, Doug Ford, for our MPs and our MP, our mayors, the judges of our land, and for all those who are in authority over us in any way. We pray that the Spirit of the Lord would rest upon them, that they would be men and women of integrity. We ask that skillful and godly wisdom will enter their hearts and affect their decision-making. Surround them with men and women who are open to godly counsel and do that which is right in your sight. Help them as they lead in the midst of this pandemic and this COVID crisis. Give them accurate input and wisdom as they navigate extraordinary public health and economic issues. Inspire them to make choices for righteousness that are effective in turning the tide of the crisis we find ourselves in and to stop or reverse unjust and unwise policies, appointments, or laws. We stand against fear and all messaging that promotes fear in Jesus' name. We declare your peace over our nation. We invite you, the Prince of Peace, to establish your presence in every sphere of our society, not only in our governments, but in the business and economic realm, in the education arena. Lord, give us wisdom in terms of how to operate our schools in this hour. We pray for our news, sports, entertainment, and media outlets, and for the whole realm of social media. Lord, may rivers of truth and light flow in our information outlets and in our social media discourse, displacing falsehoods, dishonor, ungodly schemes, and unbiblical worldviews, worldliness, and every kind of darkness. We pray that your people would rise up and show up as salt and light in our land, and that you, the Lord of the harvest, would equip and send out laborers into the harvest field. Release able ministers of the gospel of grace that will lead multitudes to Christ. We're not just Canadian citizens, we're first citizens of heaven. So use us, Lord, in this harvest. And Father, we pray all also along these same lines for our neighbors to the south of us. We pray for the United States of America, that you would heal their land and establish peace in the midst of chaos and disorder. Give their leaders extraordinary wisdom in these times. May truth and justice prevail in the White House and on Capitol Hill. Let your light dispel the darkness and what the enemy has meant for evil, Lord, you turn it for good. Lord, the issues we're facing in North America right now are daunting and overwhelming to us in the natural, but not to you. We declare your kingdom come and your will be done in Canada and the U.S. You are a God of triumph and victory, and upon you we cast all our cares. You are our rock and our strong tower. In you we put our trust and find refuge in Jesus' name. Father, I just lift before you all the communities represented by the people of Koinonia from Bramford to the south, past Drayton to the north, and Guelph and further to the east, and Woodstock to the west. Lord, it's just such a large region. And there's so many people and so many communities, large and small, that are impacted. Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for the businesses that are in those communities, for those people that are still working, that are even prospering even more now in this situation. I just thank you for them, that they're able to hire people, that they're able to do work to people. Lord, I also especially pray for those people and those businesses that have had to suspend part or all for operation people are out of work, or that you would be the one that would be the provider for those people in our body and 
that they would realize that you have called yourself Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides, that you will be their provider. Lord, I just pray that for each of those people, that they would bring them resources around about them, whether they be from uh, government assistance or whether a family or even better, the church is helping to provide and to be able to undergird people. Lord, I just thank you that there will be unique ideas and creative ideas for these business leaders, for people that they would be able to provide employment and income for their staff. Lord, I just lift all of these people up in these trying times that have had to just work and do things very differently. That you would be the one that would give ideas. You would be the one that support. And I just pray especially that business leaders would turn to you, not to their own wisdom, but would turn to you. And I just thank you for the leaders that you put in place in all of these local communities, mayors and council members and regional council and all of these people. And I just thank you, as Paul wrote, that you have instituted our governments, that you're the one that's put these governments in place. And I just thank you. I agree with Dave that there would be skillful and godly people. They would turn to you and not to their own wisdom. You would put godly counsel in their place. I thank you for the these people that have to deal with global and national and continental issues into our communities, whether it's a larger like Cambridge or Kitchener-Waterloo or smaller like a St. Jacobs or a Drayton. I just thank you. They have to implement these things. You give them wisdom. You give support to their staff. You would give them compassion. And most of all, I thank you, Lord, that you would give them your love and compassion for them. That they're not just doing things but they see the impact and they would look at what's happening to people in all of this. And they would turn to you for answers. They'd be willing and humble to change tactics and processes based on new information or new understanding. And lastly, Lord, I pray for the church. There's the church would be united across this broad region that we have. There are so many communities of believers that we'd be united with your purpose that we would be effectively communicating the gospel and we would not be the ones that would be causing issues in our communities, but we'd be the ones that would be bringing solution to the communities. I thank you that this is a time for the church in our region to rise up and we would be providing solutions. We'd be providing comfort. We'd be providing help. And they would know and, and say, oh, these people have been with Jesus. It's because of our love that they would know us. And Lord, that you would stir that love up inside of us as a body, that you would stir it up inside of us so that we would reach out and touch those around us. It might be neighbor to neighbor, co-worker to co-worker, or our church as an organization helping within our community. I just thank you, Lord, that there'll be victories that come out of this. Lord, we give you thanks for our healthcare system that we have. We thank you that we have doctors and nurses and healthcare providers that are helping our sick. Lord, we pray protection over our frontline workers. We pray that they would have a peace that passes all understanding. We pray that they would be courageous, that they would not fear. And for those who fear, we pray that they would cry out to you. Father, your word says that you work all things together for good. And what the enemy meant for evil, he could turn to good. We pray that this world pandemic would bring many into relationship with you. Lord, may our frontline workers have the wisdom and opportunity to rest and keep themselves calm. I pray that the beds in the hospitals would not be overrun, that this virus would be stamped out, that it would not run rapid and affect many. We lift up those that are isolated and struggling. May 4110 come alive to them. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. We are reminded that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. We pray for the mental health care providers, Lord, that they, as they, that they would not be overwhelmed with all the need that is out there right now. Father, I pray for the people that are struggling to have peace and live free of anxiety. Father, I pray you'd give our mental health care providers supernatural wisdom in every situation. Lord, reveal to them the heart of each issue their patients are struggling with, that they would be able to quickly help many. Father, in all of this, we remain confident in your exceedingly abundantly power and love for all people god you are still in control amen
worship you. I worship you. You are here working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here moving in our midst. I worship
Father, we just thank you that you are our way maker, Lord, that you are constantly working on our behalf, Father. You never take a break. You are always working and guiding our past, Father. We thank you, Lord, that we could count on you, Lord. We thank you that we can trust you, Father, for you are trustworthy, Lord. Father, we just take some time right now just to pray over the global church, Father. We just thank you, Father, for the church all across the world, Lord. Thank you that there is one church, Father, and that is the church of Jesus, Lord. We thank you that there is one body, the body of Christ, Father. We thank you that we are all in him, Lord. Jesus prayed that we would be one just as he and the Father are one, Lord. So I thank you, Father, for uniting us all over the world, Lord. And I thank you that there is one Lord over us all, and that is you, Lord. We just pray that the church would stay true to a biblical gospel, Lord, the true gospel that saves, Lord, the true gospel that changes lives and transforms lives, Father, just like it has saved and transformed each and every person's life here, Father, that that would be the gospel that continues to be preached, Lord. And we just pray over the leaders of the church, and we pray over church members, Lord, that they would not draw back in this season, Father, but that they would rise up and fulfill their calling and assignment in you, Lord, that they would be bold and courageous, full of courage and faith, Father. Lord, we just pray over the challenges that the global church is experiencing right now, Lord, that we would find strength and grace in these challenges, challenging times of sufferings, Lord, that your glory would be revealed in our sufferings and that your grace is sufficient. That's what Romans 8.18 declares, Lord. Father, we just pray for your wisdom and direction over your church this year as you lead us, Lord. In a year that's already filled with what appears to be limitations and restrictions, Lord, we believe and are thankful that you are a God that cannot be limited, Father, that you have an endless supply of ideas and strategies, Lord, and that we will connect our limited supply to your limited supply, Father, that we, your church, would rise up for such a time as this, that you would fill us with fresh ideas, Father, God ideas, Lord. We just thank you for that, Father. And we just pray healing around the world right now, Lord, in the midst of this pandemic. We pray peace over areas that are prone to violence, Father. And we pray strength over missionaries around the world and that they would continue to have daily opportunity to show Jesus' love. And we pray safety and protection over those who risk their lives to proclaim Jesus that you are their protector, that you surround them with a hedge of protection in all they do, Father. And I just pray Psalm 65, 11 right now, Father, that you crown this year with your goodness and that your past drip with abundance. I speak this over your church right now, your global church right now, that we will see and experience your goodness in 2021 and that our past will drip with your abundance, Lord. And I just speak Psalm 119, that your word is a lamp to guide our feet and a light to guide our path, Father. So I just pray, shine your light, Lord, and we will follow you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for giving us the right to be right now, the right to be right Thank you, Father. Lord, we seek you today, Father God. We just thank you, Lord. And anointed your body with your word. We thank you, Lord, that we seek you for wisdom, for peace, and for power, Father. We thank you, Lord, for wisdom to live consistent with your word, Father God, with peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord. Power that enables us to be a light and salt unto this world, Father God. We declare to your body, your body is working in the fullness of your spirit, Father God. We are equipped for effective, fruitful outreach, Father. We just thank you that through us, you are reaching every generation, Father. We just thank you, Father God, that your word does not return unto you void, Father God, but it accomplishes what you have what you have sent to accomplish, Father God, what you please, Father God. We, and, and it shall return unto you, it shall not return to you void, but it shall come back to you possible, Father God, where you please, Father. We declare that you are able, Father.
Father God, that your body prospers and influence over our community. Father God, that your body prospers in our outreach in this world. Father God, that your body prospers in impacting those you continue to draw into Christ, Father God. And we just thank you, Lord, that your body prospers being the example of righteousness, Father God. We just thank you, Lord, that Jesus, you are our endless supply, Lord. You are what we are all that matters, Father God. We just declare this in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Amen. Amen. As you're sitting in your homes tonight watching on this on this Zoom. I want you to just take this moment and settle your hearts for nothing else than the name of Jesus. Let's let the name of Jesus, the name above all names, be the center of our focus right here. Nothing else. in your presence I just want to sit here at your feet I'm caught up in this holy moment I never want to leave I'm not here for blessings Cause Jesus you don't owe me anything More than anything that you can do I just want you I'm sorry when I've just gone through the motions. I'm sorry when I just sang another song. Take me back to where we started. I open up my heart to you. I'm sorry when I've come with my agenda. I'm sorry when I forgot that you're enough. Take me back to where we started. I open up my heart to you. Sing that out in your homes. I'm caught up in your presence I just want to sit here at your feet I'm caught up in this holy moment I never want to leave oh I'm not here for pleasure Sings, Lord, because Jesus, you don't owe me anything, and more than anything that you can do, I just want you. I just want you. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you, and nothing else, and nothing else, and nothing else will do. I just want you, and nothing else. Nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else, nothing else.
nothing else, nothing else will do. Oh Lord, I just want you. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. To the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. From my heart. Isn't it so good just to worship and to tell Jesus that there's nothing like him, that he is just irreplaceable, he's just so awesome, and that we can give him our hearts, we can trust him with our lives, we can just love on him every day, every moment of our lives. And that's why here at Koinonia, we very intentionally press in uh, every month, every week, but every year to say, Lord, we, we want to trust you to lead us. And so last year at this time, we filled out our Target 2020 cards. The three things that we asked God to help us to believe him for to accomplish. And so we got those, and we got the kids' ones as well. You're holding those. And out of these this year, we ask you for what are some praise reports? What are some answers to prayer? And what do we hear come in in answers to prayer? Well, there were so many exciting ones. And kids, I just want to say as well, if you're watching, I was just breezing over these of the children. So exciting to see the things that our kids have been believing God for. So parents, make sure you check in with them as well and um, talk to them about how they've seen God moving in their lives. Yeah. as well. But we've seen lots of uh, praises and gratitude to God coming in from all of you. Wanted to highlight a few of them for you. Yeah. One of the main areas that we've seen people giving thanks to God for is in health areas. Areas of health where they have seen God do incredible things. Yeah, miracles. Healing's happening. Miracles happening in bodies. Cancer gone. Um, learning about how to walk in health more and having breakthroughs. So that's been really exciting. People have also been saying how they've been experiencing breakthroughs in uh, fertility, in children being born, celebrating grandchildren and children. And we know there are so many more people believing for the same Amen. thing. Yeah. So we're excited to, to give thanks to God for those. Yeah, and this is, these praise reports really encourage your hearts to keep believing, keep asking, keep trusting in God for what he's doing. We also receive praise reports in the areas of relationships. Um, one woman who was praying for a restoration of a broken relationship with her brother, and she said, this Christmas, he sent her an email. And that was just a great spot to start. Here's another one. As a result of a surprise family wedding this year, I have seen the process of restoration beginning to take place praising and thanking God for this. So God works through weddings <laughs> to draw families together. Here's some praise reports in connection with the pandemic that we've been suffering from and during this year. One student said they are thankful that on their university campus there was no outbreak and they were safe and, and healthy. 
Another talked about uh, God's provision this year. God took care of the daily expenses and the major ones that, are, that were at the start of this year, 21. God provided for them. Another said, God fixed my finances. <laughs> I, I know God works in our lives these ways, and we praise him for that. So yeah. good. Also, spiritual growth and relationships. And I love this one. Listen to these exact words someone wrote. After several years of humming and hawing, I made the decision to join a men's group. It turned out to be one of the best decisions I've ever made. From new friendships to furthering and deepening my relationship with God, I could not be happier. So cool. How good is that? God growing so many of us through the hardships of 2020, but he used them to disciple us. And that's one thing we're seeing. One of the other celebrations is around the area of inner healing. Many testimonies came in of how God has changed your heart through inner healing in this past year of 2020. Listen to this one that someone wrote, new deep truths of healing, deep wounds in my heart. Good friends, wonderful family that point me in the right direction, and I'm having more freedom than ever on my healing journey. That's, That's exciting. So cool. And there's more healing to come in 2021. We know that, we believe that, and that's why we, in all things, give God praise and thanks for how he's working and continue to believe for more. In the areas of schooling, uh, I, uh, we got received one report of uh, one uh, parent uh, said that their daughter was at university working on her Bachelor of Science in the nursing program. And she was experiencing such setbacks, such challenges, uh, even within the program. She was not experiencing favor. And as they kept praying, this was their praise report. God gave our daughter the desire, strength, and courage to persevere. Great feedback from clinical instructors came to her, and her accomplishments have acquired have qualified her for the invitation to the International Honor Association of Nurses. And they said, to God be the glory. He is answering prayer. There's many other praise reports that came in in light of these, but we know there may be still some outstanding prayer requests that, that you didn't hear your prayer answered yet. And so we're, you can move those forward onto your 2021 card. Nick and Caitlin are going to take us into talk about what, how to posture, how to get ready, how to believe for 2021. Nick and Kate, what do you have for us? Thanks, guys. Man, I love hearing what God has been up to in our lives. Despite the year that we've had, God hasn't stopped working for a minute. Um, Caitlin and I are thankful that we can uh, join you in prayer tonight in worship. Um, our kitchen has been filled with worship, and we want to share briefly with you one of the ways that God has really challenged us in our faith through our target cards. Uh, so last year when it took, was time for us to write a few things down for 2021, we just kind of scratched a few things quickly and felt like, okay, great, we'll submit this. And uh, it wasn't uh, too long after that the Holy Spirit really challenged us. And um, we realized the things that we had written down didn't really require God. <laughs> they didn't really require any faith. They were essentially goals. Things that we hoped would happen. Yeah. And so it was, um, we kind of laughed because when we eventually rewrote it, we were, we were like, oh man, I don't know if any of these will even come true because they felt so, so big. And um, it was funny because we were shocked in July when one of those things did happen. And um, it was just a really neat experience for us because it totally grew our faith. And it changed how we approach putting these, these three items together for the year. So um, I hope that that's encouraging for you as you put them together, that you let the Holy Spirit speak. And so as we go into this next song, um, it's called Rest, and Larissa is going to share it with us. But it talks about um, how we are seen, known, and loved by Father God. So I would just encourage you, let the words speak to your heart as you're in his presence now, and um, take some time to think about what God wants to do in 2021. So God, tonight as we get to worship together uh, with our church family, we bring our 2021 cards to you. Um, and God, tonight for everybody who is listening, everybody who's watching, I pray that, that they would submit these cards to you so that if there's more that you want to do, that you would give them the faith to believe you for greater things. God, we know that you are the God of more than enough. You are the God of the impossible. God, you are gracious 
and compassionate and full of love. And so as your kids tonight, we bring you our requests. We bring you the pain and the hurts. We bring you the things that feel impossible. And God, we trust them into your hands because we know that you are our perfect father. We know that you see us, that you know us, that you know us deeply. And God, you know exactly what we need before we ask. But yet as a loving father, you invite us to ask. So tonight, God, as a church, we ask you to move in 2021. God, as a family, we ask you to show the world your power in 2021. God, as your children, we ask that you would give us the faith to believe and to make room for your spirit to move in 2021. God, we believe that you are the God of the impossible. We believe that this year for our church family will be filled with healing and with wholeness and restoration, that it will be filled with provision financially, relationally, God, wisdom, that you would provide those things for your people. Heavenly Father, we submit ourselves to you. We place our not only our 2021 cards, but our lives into your hands because we know it is the safest place for us to be. God, we're thankful for your love. We're thankful that we can be in your presence as a church family, and we welcome you to continue to move. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
just invite him to speak to you. You might be feeling a little discomfort. Maybe there's something in your past that makes you feel like he doesn't want to meet you. That's a lie. Because you are seen, you are known, and you are loved by your Father. Nothing from your past can hinder you from the love of God. And he wants to meet with you right now. Maybe there's a desire in your heart that you're too afraid to speak to him. But guess what? He already knows. So take a step of faith right now. And just share your heart with him because he cares for you and he wants to know. He loves you.
your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. Lift it up where you are. And all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. that song and just summarize what this whole night has been about is singing praises, declaring truth to our great God. Oh, I love how he just stirs us to, yeah, let, let our heart cry out. Let these bones sing forth. Sing and declare that great are you, Lord. And Koinonia, may we do that this whole year long and to help us, to prime us, to get us ready that's what this week is about, of prayer and fasting, is to stir us to focus on our great God, 
and to worship him all out with our whole hearts. So I want to first say thank you for joining in tonight. Uh, I was told uh, amongst the three different platforms that we used and, and that you could plug into, there was 130 different devices that were on our Engage Prayer and Worship Night. So multiply that by the number of people that are in your room or, <laughs> the, you know, multiply by three. There, there's a lot of us that gathered together tonight so that we could worship God together. And we are just starting our week of prayer and fasting. So get engaged, get involved. Let's do this together. Don't do this week alone. There's many opportunities for you to take part in our week of prayer and fasting. As I said, right starting tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, you could be part of a, a prayer call with me. Uh, then at noon, there's going to be one. At, in the evening, every day this week, there's opportunities for you to join a Zoom call. Go to kcf.life forward slash prayer and fasting. All right, go to that link right there that you can see and just join with us. And, and you can be a part of a prayer group, prayer time for, for five minutes or you can stay for 30 minutes or if the prayer goes longer. There's opportunity for us to join in and be a part of praying this week. And that's why I want to encourage you to do it with others because this has been encouraging for us to be together tonight. And the week is just going to grow and we're going to see God break forward and do greater things. We don't know what's going to happen in the world this week, but we know with our God, he sees it all and he's going before us and we can declare his greatness and we will see answers to prayer. Also go to kcf.live forward slash target 2021. And you can go there to fill out your 2021 believing card. What your three things you're believing for this year. Let God shape that in you this, this week. As Caitlin and Nick said, that God challenged them to raise the bar. He said, I, I can do more than that. Believe in me for more. And God will put on your heart what he desires to do in your life. And then you can uh, join your faith with him to see him make all things possible. Cordenia, what a great night it has been. Worship team, thank you for leading us tonight. Prayer leaders, thank you for leading us tonight. Let me take us out in prayer. Father, we have gathered in your name to declare your praise. From, from our kitchen tables to our living rooms, from the platform here in the auditorium in Bloomingdale to wherever we, we have gathered together, it's to declare that you are God. We will lift up your name all this week, all this year, and we will continue to declare how great are you, Lord. We worship you. We praise you in the name of Jesus, the powerful name. We worship you, God, because of your incredible love that envelops us. And we love you because of the you, Holy Spirit, who is present and empowering us by the Father's grace. We love you. We praise you, God. And we pray together. And all the church said, Amen. Amen. Bless you this week. I look forward to seeing you online as we pray together.